Hello and welcome to the 14th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JF version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at positioning using the place method. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. So Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality for moving a node. Most things in Cocos 2D JS are nodes such as sprites and menu items. We will look at positioning using the place method which simply places the node at a set point on the screen. So first of all, it's going to go ahead and open up our app.js file. Maximize this. I'm going to create a sprite action. So var sprite action equals cc dot place dot create. This takes no time because it just places it where it needs to be placed. So we just put a position cc dot pay. I'm going to 200 by 1. 50. And now the only thing that is left is to well run the sprite action. So sprite dot run action sprite action. Minimize this second. Minimize that for a moment. So cd my project directory cocos run dash p web. Nothing has happened. I'm just gonna delete the cache. Clear browsing history, cached images and files, clear browsing data, refresh. As you see, it's been placed now. That's just a little tip. If it doesn't quite work in the web, version or even on let's say mobile clean it on something like Xcode or Eclipse or Cocos Code IDE or if you're on web just clear the cache. So there you go we've placed it at 200 by 150. Little thing to note you can't reuse actions for different nodes you even need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again. Recommended you just create a new action for the different nodes. Little task for you to do using the screen size variable aka this one here uh, which was used to set the position of the sprite so it was always centered. Use that so the place method is dynamic and it factors in the screen size. So whether you have a low resolution device, a medium resolution device, or a high resolution device, it's always going to look like it's in the same place. So in this example, it was in the bottom left corner. So just make it more dynamic. This may take a little bit of thinking, but will be well worth the effort. The next tutorial will cover repetition of actions using the repeat method which allows you to repeat an action a set number of times. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.